Hello and welcome to the Crumbs and Doily shop in Soho. It feels like forever since I was here with you and I'm very excited to share this recipe with you. This recipe is to make use of all my overripe bananas that the guys here have been saving for me. And this is a recipe for millionaire shortbread, but not as you know it. This millionaire shortbread is going to be a buttery, crumbly peanut shortbread topped with a thick layer of banana caramel and then sprinkled with salted roasted peanuts, banana chips and chocolate. Let's get started. I'm going to begin by making the shortbread part and I've already greased and lined a seven inch square tin. Uh, you can use an eight inch or a nine inch, it will just change the thickness slightly of your shortbread but I'm using a seven inch today. And I'm going to be mixing all my ingredients in my trusty food processor and if you don't have one of these you can make this just with your hands and rubbing but it is much much easier to do it with a food processor. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to start by putting my plain flour in. I have 200 grams of plain flour and that's just going to go straight in and 170 grams of chopped unsalted butter, which is nice and cold, 70 grams of cast sugar, a pinch of salt, and then we need to put some peanut butter in to make this peanutty, and I have 100 grams of smooth peanut butter. And I'm gonna process that until it comes together in clumps. So it's come together in kind of loose clumps and now I just need to bring it together on the counter. Notice how I'm not actually kneading it, I'm just bringing it together so it kind of sticks together. If I knead it too much then it's not going to be nice and short, like shortbread. <laughs> now it's time to put it in the tin and to do that I'm just going to break bits off and then push them down into the bottom of it. And what you're looking for is a nice even layer of shortbread. Now this just needs to be baked at 170 degrees C for 20 to 25 minutes until the top is nice and golden. So while that's cooling down, we can get on with making the banana caramel. And this takes quite a long time to make. So by the time you're finished with it and ready to use, this is gonna be nice and cool. Uh, to start with, I've got 175 milliliters of double cream. And to that, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla and half a teaspoon of salt. And just give that a little whisk to combine it. And then just set that to one side. We don't need it for quite some time, but now we need to get on with the sugary part. So I have 200 grams of caster sugar, 170 grams of golden syrup, and 200 grams of puree banana, and it all needs to go into the saucepan. And then put it over a medium heat and bring it to the boil. I've got a thermometer here because I need to monitor the, the temperature of this because this needs to get up to 125 or 130 degrees Celsius. Give it a little stir just to help things mix up properly because what you don't want is for the banana to catch. The banana will burn a lot quicker than the sugar so you need to stir it much more frequently than you would normal caramel. Okay, it's ready. So I'm going to take it off the heat and now I'm going to pour my cream in. Pour your cream in a slow, steady stream so that it doesn't splurt out at you and it doesn't seize up the caramel. And once it's all smooth and mixed in properly, put it back on the heat and then you need to heat that back up to 120 degrees. Right, that's 120 degrees C, so now it's time to take it off the heat again and put in your 60 grams of cold chopped unsalted butter. And give it a really good stir until all the butter is melted and incorporated with the rest of the caramel. And carefully pour it on top of your shortbread. And give it a little wiggle around with your spatula just to make sure it's nice and level. And then while it's still wet, Sprinkle some roasted salted peanuts and banana chips. And now just leave that to cool down and set completely before you get on with the last bit. 
it's set, it's cool, and now it's time to finish it. And that is simply a drizzle of melted chocolate. And when you're satisfied that you've got enough chocolate on there, it's time to cut it. Look at that. It is absolutely chocked full of caramel and it smells pretty good and I'm pretty sure it tastes good. Let me just make sure. Mmm. Mmm. That is banana-y. Big time. You don't want to hear me talking with my mouth full. Hang on. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. And if you make it, don't forget to let me know by hashtagging Cupcake Gemma on Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to take this downstairs to the shop so that maybe some of the lucky people down there can get a piece of it. And if you want to see more of what Crumbs and Doily sells and get up to, then don't forget to check us out on Instagram as well. I'll see you next week. Bye.